a very good Tuesday entrepreneur shape morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning only on Y254 TV. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barry Moses. And now it's about time we bring the information technology gurus to studio from Axelis Tech to come and let us know just a little bit about what they do and why you should procure IT services just in case you've always wondered. Anyway, so do remember that this weekend we have a very special function here at Y254 with Katika Namash out. So make sure you do slide into our DM or go to our social media handles and make sure you participate in the competition. There's up to 60,000 shillings to be won. So make sure you do catch up with us this particular Saturday to end a road trip Kidogo and make sure you do upload your videos and be part of us. But it's about time I introduce the young men in studio with me today from Axelis Tech. I have one Derek Siri and one Joseph Ikito, the programmer and the quality assurance manager. Say good morning to the Y in the morning family for the very first time. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Morning. Yes, Karibuni Sana. Thank you. Axelis Tech, let's talk a little bit. What, what is the background towards this particular business venture? Uh, actually, is, a um, is an IT company. Mm -hmm. So we cover all things telecommunication, information technology, connectivity, mm -hmm. as IT as you know it in mm -hmm. whatever layman's language you understand it mm -hmm. to be. That's mm -hmm. what we do. Where did the passion to, to do this come from? Well, uh, I studied IT mm -hmm. in campus. Mm -hmm. So just followed the career. Mm -hmm. Yes. You followed you, whatever you studied, that's what you pursued. It is my passion. So uh -huh. when I went for it, mm -hmm. I decided this is what I'm going to do mm -hmm. until I die. Until you die? Yes. You are that passionate? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me understand from Derek. As a programmer, why did you express interest in this particular industry? And what gap is this that you had identified that you thought that people do need assistance when it comes to design, when it comes to connectivity? What gap had you identified in the Kenyan market? Well, uh, the gap is uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. okay, when I was in campus, mm -hmm. there was uh, this hotel mm -hmm. that uh, was around our institution. Mm -hmm. And they were having an issue with their management systems mm -hmm. and the uh, funds were disappearing. Mm -hmm. So for my projects in campus, mm -hmm. I did a hotel management system for them. Oh, uh-huh. And uh, actually they accepted it mm -hmm. and they paid me, it was, uh, back then it was uh, an okay amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, before I knew mm -hmm. the value of what I had created. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to venture out fully mm -hmm. after employment, mm -hmm. that is when I decided then we put the skills that I have mm -hmm. into to good, good use. use. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Derek, what's your story? I am Derek. Oh, sorry. What's jo your story? Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. What's your story? Uh, for me, mm -hmm. I... Um, I've always been an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Before doing uh, tech mm -hmm. or uh, whatever I'm doing now, mm -hmm. I've always done a few businesses here and there, mm -hmm. always looking for change, extra mm -hmm. cash. Mm -hmm. So when I was in campus, I happened to get a job mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. I had not studied computer, mm -hmm. computer science. Oh, you had not studied it? No. Oh, uh huh. I was more into accounting. Mm -hmm. Same aspect, money, profit, all that. Mm -hmm. And then initially, I came to realize that I had a skill in networking mm -hmm. and development. And then someone just said to me, hey, you know, I've seen what you do. Mm -hmm. And most of the people that we work with in the office, mm -hmm. they're not even articulate as you are okay. in tech. So uh -huh. probably should pursue the passion. Mm -hmm. Then I realized if this person can see that as a talent, let me, let me try it out. Mm -hmm. And I did. And I found out it was an easier way. I have the talent and mm -hmm. the business skills, mm -hmm. and I can combine both. And mm -hmm. then I found out it was a passion I had. Okay. So, yeah, I studied graphic design, started from there, mm -hmm. development, online. Mm -hmm. Here I am. And here you are today. Yes. Well, I've seen that you guys also design apps. You do, uh, sorry, you create apps. Yes. And uh, what's interesting about apps is I'd like to understand what kind of apps is this that you tend to lean towards, towards, you tend to lean towards? What type of apps? What, what are those apps that, as Axelis Tech, you like them or you lean towards that kind of nature of an app? Mm. Well, uh, I wouldn't say there are types of apps. Mm -hmm. What I would say is an app is basically just what you already know. It's, yes. a, it's something, a tool that you use on the phone. Mm -hmm. For us, what mm -hmm. we do is mm -hmm. we've centered on, on uh, SMEs. 
SMEs. SMEs uh-huh. and mm-hmm. medium-sized companies. Ah, good. Uh-huh. So what we do, they have an idea, they have mm-hmm. a solution, they mm-hmm. have something they need that needs to be put on phone, mm-hmm. iOS or Android, mm-hmm. mostly Android, because mm-hmm. that's a platform people use because of the costs and balance of everything. Mm-hmm. So what we do is we take the idea, mm-hmm. we develop, mm-hmm. we know how it's done, uh-huh. and then we do it for you. We help your company. Uh-huh. You know, for uh, there are two ways you can do an app. Either you have the idea, mm-hmm. you can develop, mm-hmm. or you can develop, but you don't have an idea. Oh. So when mm-hmm. we develop, we go find guys who have ideas, mm-hmm. they pay us, we help them mm-hmm. come into the app stores. Interesting. You know, I'm not very I'm not very tech savvy. <laughs> mm. But I'd like to understand from you, especially someone who mentioned about having a passion for entrepreneurship. How did your business plan look like originally? What factors did you put into yeah. consideration? Because you know it's entrepreneurship <laughs> yes. Tuesday and we're here to let yes. the young people know how how we ended up at this particular point. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Initially, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. Initially, <laughs> you always have the idea. Mm-hmm. You go sit down, have costs. Mm-hmm. You write down your costs on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. That's what we all taught in school. Mm-hmm. That's a funny thing. So mm-hmm. let's say it's 10,000 shillings. Mm-hmm. And then you project your your markup and then you imagine, okay, I'm going to get 30,000 shillings. Mm-hmm. My profit is 20. Mm-hmm. So that's the same thing. I sat down, I saw I had a skill. I would cut down on so many people, mm-hmm. including myself. You know, Derek is is someone who's already tech savvy. Uh-huh. I am. So that's... Under his quiet. Yeah. That's, the introvert. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a geek. Eh? Uh-huh. So anyway, uh-huh. <laughs> we go put out all those other elements of hiring. Mm-hmm. guys mm-hmm. so all i'm worried about is mm-hmm. just finding the money what mm-hmm. tools do i need so why did you find the money because that's another question people usually say they have the idea they have the structure they have a very good plan set out but i couldn't have so um what did you guys do to get in some my money case to? i jumped all that because uh-huh. i was already having a laptop that i require most people right now young guys oh so you just have need laptops. a laptop yes <laughs> uh-huh. i just need a laptop and mm-hmm. a good phone mm-hmm. and bundles mm-hmm. which if i wasn't using for chatting mm-hmm. i would I, I that's what i'm using for that's how i started because either oh. way i would be chatting uh-huh. most people chat a lot <laughs> yeah we do we uh-huh. do chat a lot mm-hmm. yeah make sure you hold the microphone up up the yeah, yes, yeah. yes yes most guys chat a lot mm-hmm. so i was just inspired let me just use this tool i started with uh, web web and graphic design mm-hmm. tutorials mm-hmm. so what i would do is i would use all the bundles i would use mm-hmm. buy tutorials offline Oh, so you actually did train yourself, like yes. you said, you also didn't study yes. the computer science. That, that actually came ah. in w- for the money aspect. Mm-hmm. I had to eliminate that with that. But I saved up a little bit of money for uh-huh. the extras when a client calls, uh-huh. use your own fare instead of uh-huh. just going, hanging out you use on your Fridays. Own fare. <laughs> yes, start out like uh-huh. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I init- ended up, uh, lucky for me because I'm the skill set, mm-hmm. I don't need to hire a lot mm. so i didn't have to spend as much i see yeah i'd like to understand derek now am i correct yes <laughs> how, was, how was your experience like when you first ventured into the business world well uh, i was employed actually mm-hmm. for about five years mm-hmm. before i decided to venture out mm-hmm. full time for mm-hmm. my hustle mm-hmm. well uh, while i was employed mm-hmm. i got two clients two while clients I was still employed uh-huh Yes, they needed IT support mm-hmm. and uh, somebody referred me to them. Mm-hmm. So when I went and I provided my services, mm-hmm. they were quite happy mm-hmm. and decided to retain oh. my services. Uh-huh. And uh, that is how I started off. So I didn't hustle as much. Uh-huh. Yes, because I had the skills mm-hmm. and uh, the resources. You A had the laptop. skills and the... A Very few resources required. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I think uh-huh. also maybe if you imagine mm-hmm. in tech, it's a bit different. Yes. Yeah. Resources are more what you know. Mm-hmm. What you know. Yeah, it's yes. a solution I can offer. If the okay. mic went down, if there was no connectivity, mm-hmm. I don't need to get a lot of money to get the solution. It's just I like me. that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the skills that you skill. have. Yes. So the this knowledge. money thing is just an attitude. It's just a skill. It depends. It depends. Okay. Yeah. Different right. fields. Different fields, different strokes for different folks. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, let me understand. What was the highlight of Axelis Tech? What has been the highlight so far? I know this is probably the first time that you're here on Y254. And we'd like yes. to understand what was the highlight of your career? What what keeps you guys going? Mm. For me, I'd say the inspiration of sharing what the, the ideas that I have. Mm-hmm. You see, tech is not just a business. Mm-hmm. It's also innovation, mm-hmm. creativity. Mm-hmm. And that creativity, sometimes 
guys want flyers mm-hmm. they want posters mm-hmm. they want mini animations mm-hmm. so for me also it's something i already have inside of me i mm-hmm. am looking for someone i can showcase to mm-hmm. so having that platform where i can do that maybe sometimes like derek being mm-hmm. the geek in the cables he can flex his mm, he, w- he sees something <laughs> going down he's like no 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 let's just sort this out uh-huh, you know let's uh-huh. find out where the packet issue is coming from mm-hmm, you know it's mm-hmm. inspiration of what you already know mm-hmm. i want to share it out okay yeah so for you it's about the sharing you know you want to flex a little I bit already, so then, yeah <laughs> Derek, what is it about for you well i enjoy how uh, amazing mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. when uh, you solve a sol- uh, an issue that somebody is having with their computer ah. and they look at you with a lot of surprise Mr. fix it <laughs> as like you are performing some magic trick <laughs> there you see that mm-hmm. that gratitude that you get from my client mm-hmm. is what inspires me to keep on going okay yes so can let's talk about global trends uh you know this is a time when technology keeps changing and yeah. advancing and diversing and i'd yeah. like to understand here in this country what are some of the te- the the, te- the trends that you have noticed that are affecting your particular industry especially when it comes to tech and new apps and new phones and new softwares i'd like to understand what the experience is like for someone who is green in this new market what's the technological field looking like right now well technology is mm-hmm. changing big time yes uh, like uh, Google the other day just said that they're going to close down uh, some of their affiliate mm-hmm. accounts, mm-hmm. the likes of Google Plus. Oh, mm-hmm. we, which other one, Joe? We, we are, they are closing Google Plus page. They are also mm-hmm. charging. Mm-hmm. They are closing out Google Maps for free. Mm-hmm. So they are going to charge it. Mm-hmm. Those are changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, if you look at the Kenyan terrain, mm-hmm. so many people are accessing devices, like you said, using apps. Yes. That's why I guess you started yes. talking about apps. Mm-hmm. Now, they are also now charging mm-hmm. guys using apps. We are way behind. Yeah. People have not exploited mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. part of using the apps. Mm-hmm. And already, the network mm-hmm. is catching up. Mm-hmm everyone is catching up with what is there already in the market mm-hmm. now there's farmers who are already doing agribees mm-hmm. and they want a platform where they can sell they yes. can get money yeah. in a remote village mm-hmm. that's connectivity using mm-hmm. an app mm-hmm. and finding out on web and internet technology mm-hmm. some farmers are developing websites mm-hmm. i have a couple of friends mm-hmm. also who are, are you developing, developing any for any farmer <laughs> yes yeah. uh-huh. yes uh-huh. Carry so on, carry on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what they do is they develop uh, its unga. Mm-hmm. They come package. Of mm-hmm. course, they have done everything nicely. Mm-hmm. They want to be on online online platform. Uh-huh. They want to teach people how to use unga. It's cassava. Mm-hmm. After they teach people how to use the cassava, they want to go and and, and okay find a customer base. Uh-huh. They want to inspire their clientele. Uh-huh by assuring them that Mm -hmm. we actually are Mm -hmm. available anytime you need us Ah. where we are Uh we have flyers for Mm -hmm. marketing Mm -hmm. and they also want to do social media marketing Mm -hmm. and online advertising Mm -hmm. so that they can reach themselves because it's another alternative to having flyers Mm -hmm. and sales guys Interesting. Yeah. So what can the Kenyan government do? Because now I'm hearing a lot of agribusiness <laughs> is going tech. It's, it's going, uh, what can I call it? Soft. It's going soft. A lot of the agricultural business here in Kenya. I like the fact that you talked about that. What can the government do better when it comes to improving your industry? Well, the main challenge that we are currently facing mm-hmm. is, you see, for those people, yes, those agri, farm, the farmers who yes. are, want to use technology, mm-hmm. they have one limitation, mm-hmm. connectivity. Oh, uh-huh. That is uh, to the internet. Mm-hmm. In those remote places, mm-hmm. you get the connection is very slow. Mm-hmm. Mostly it's edge mm-hmm. or it's not even there. Mm-hmm. So you see that limits the farmer mm-hmm. to the use of technology. Oh. So they have to use now a mm-hmm. medium, a broker. Mm-hmm. And uh, they end up losing more mm-hmm. instead of earning more from their business now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so there's a broker issue and connectivity issue mm, as well. Yes, mostly it's the connectivity. Uh-huh. Yes, the connectivity is the root of the, this, mm-hmm. which causes now for the farmers to look for a broker mm-hmm. to sell their And products. this is expensive. Yes. Okay, thank you for mentioning that. Derek, what are some of the challenges that you have observed in your particular line of duty? <laughs> mm-hmm. I would say um, 
I would say subdiz- subsidizing the cost oh. for young guys. Mm-hmm. Like you said, how did we start up? For us, we mm-hmm. didn't spend a lot of money mm-hmm. just because of our industry. Mm-hmm. Maybe we were lucky you had a laptop you're already using, mm-hmm. converted it to something mm-hmm. that's equivalent to capital. Mm-hmm. But if you think about it right now, someone who is out there in a remote place, that's mm-hmm. still Kenya, mm-hmm. they want a laptop. They mm-hmm. have to go buy a laptop. Where mm-hmm. do they get money from? Okay. No one considers giving young guys subsidies. No one thinks about. So you wanted to subsidize the cost of electronics. <laughs> for, for, no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, uh-huh. the government can say, like they're already mm-hmm. saying, uh, they can youth funds and all that. Yes. They can partner. You can partner with, let's say, Dell, mm-hmm. and say anyone who's between this age mm-hmm. and younger, mm-hmm. they can get maybe a certain percentage of discount or mm-hmm. pay payment platform. They will not say we are used to handouts <laughs> and we want, we want them to make so our life it's easy. Because <laughs> <laughs> the government uh-huh. has at least... It's, it's the same way they were giving out laptops mm. to the schools. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's an outreach which can help that young person mm. jump a hurdle mm-hmm. by the time they want to become an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, other wow. than they start it by themselves. Because uh-huh. they will have to start way back. Uh-huh. In other countries like Europe, mm-hmm. a nine-year-old is already uh, developing and mm-hmm. programming. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they have access to these facilities. Ah. As a third world country, we are mm-hmm. limited. Mm-hmm. So someone has to go through uni mm-hmm. and then now, after you finish, then you're told, okay, ah. I've already paid fees. Mm-hmm. And then you realize, you know, I need money for something extra. Mm-hmm. Not so many people have that mm-hmm. capacity. Mm-hmm. But here in Kenya, I don't think they recognize talent. Because if you really know someone is talented, mm-hmm. you know they'll get, they'll give you back mm-hmm. whatever you you give them if you give them 20k and mm-hmm. it's a talent talent mm-hmm. will sell itself okay and talent will sell yes. itself yeah. <laughs> i like that i like that way of thinking so let's talk about a diversification when it comes to diversifying in the future what what other services is axelis tech be offering aside from this web design graphic design do you plan to diversify or do anything aside from what you're doing maybe in the next two years or so uh, already we are looking mm-hmm. to to do virtualization Virtualization. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. Virtualization mm-hmm. of already if you have space, mm-hmm. online space, and mm-hmm. you don't need to buy extra space. Can you talk about servers mm-hmm. and extra equipment? Servers. Yeah, mm-hmm. instead of buying yeah, those that's servers. that's I think of IBC. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If IBC, instead of buying huge gadgets, mm-hmm. you keep talking about expensive budgets mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. They can virtualize the system mm-hmm. and utilize mini compartments. I'm trying to explain it as simple as i yes, can please. in between in layman's language <laughs> <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> yes uh-huh. that's one and also we are looking to train younger people ah. like we said in our in our ah, area. you're looking to train I like yes that. Mm-hmm. because young people are not accessible there mm-hmm. are kids out there i have mm-hmm. i have nephews and nieces so mm-hmm. you can see this one mm-hmm. really loves tech gadgets mm-hmm. you know the way you give a kid something and they you really can love spot it. the talent yes <laughs> uh-huh. so in guiding and leading them and mm-hmm. also partnering with you know online there are also platforms like mit mm-hmm. they mit have, they have development mm-hmm. developers uh what's platform. mit say it again in full mit yes. massachusetts Institute oh, Massachusetts. Yes. Uh-huh. They, are, they are already encouraging everyone uh-huh. to be a developer because uh-huh. you have ideas mm-hmm. as you sit down you have ideas mm-hmm. that i will never know unless you code yourself oh so everyone code. is unique, yes, developing yeah, Even the code. terms being used here. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So for that, in that essence, mm-hmm. if you start now helping and nurturing these kids, mm-hmm. whatever talent they will have afterwards, mm-hmm. they, will inco- they will come and showcase it now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can reach out to schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. What's your plan? What's your individual plan when it comes to diversification? Yeah, you see, as a company, Mm -hmm. you cannot have an individual plan. (laughs) (laughs) We have a company plan. Uh Yeah. Okay. Because we want to grow as a company, Mm -hmm. not as an individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I like that answer. Very quick and very (laughs) 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 straight. So not to dilute anything. Okay, so where can people find you on your social media handles? On social media, we are at Axelis Tech Mm -hmm. uh, web. Everywhere on Facebook, yes, yes. Instagram, Club Alexis. Don't confuse Alexis. Alexis. Guys, keep saying Alexis. Alexis. <laughs> Guy, by the way, yeah, I mean, hey, it, it didn't even cross my mind. L I S T E C H at Axelis Tech, Facebook, everywhere. Being tech, we are we are in all these places. Okay, so let's go to our parting shots. Let me make sure this time Eric says something.
<laughs> for an entrepreneur outside there who is interested in joining the world of technology, what words of advice have you collected over the years that you can give them at home? Well, uh, the thing about tech is mm -hmm. very diverse. Mm -hmm. So just find that one field that you're good at mm -hmm. and keep at it. Find that one field that you're good at and, and keep, keep at, at it. it. Yes. Plus it feels good to be the magician in the room, yeah? Yes. <laughs> <she does. laughs> Thank you guys for coming to studio today. Thank you very much. I hope to, I hope to see you again here on Y254, but this time now taking us deeper through these particular things. Anyway, my name is Hilda Wadidi. Please do not go anywhere. Please remember Katika Namash Auto is still on this Saturday. In case you're wondering what that is, slide into our social media. Our Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Please do not go anywhere. Join Muchacha is coming up next.